this is going to be nice up here. Architect David Lee is going over a punch list with his builder for this renovation project he designed at a brick row house in Roxbury. Lee has owned a firm in the city since the 60s and can just about count the number of black-owned construction companies on one hand. The numbers have not increased. John Cruz and his father have built a lot. Greg Janey has now built a real juggernaut uh, over time. But the fact that you could probably name them all is problematic, you know? Even as black and Latino entrepreneurs in the state have followed in Lee's footsteps and started up hundreds of enterprises in the last decade, business ownership is still disproportionately dominated by white men. U.S. Census surveys analyzed by GBH News show that in Massachusetts, black and Latino people control only 3.2 percent of firms. The national rate is more than 7 percent. It's hard to pinpoint what accounts for that disparity. Critics fault the lack of precise racial and ethnic data from the state on small business owners that get millions of dollars in loans and grants from taxpayer-funded programs. We're an exceptional state. We're a wealthy state. And um, our numbers should look better than, than they do. Malia Lazu at MIT Sloan School says other cities and states are far more innovative in supporting black and Latino entrepreneurship. You have to feed the supply side of creating businesses and you have to hold corporates to the demand side of, of bringing folks in and give yourself, you know, 20 years to, to get that right. Some minority business owners are already taking the lead. City Fresh Foods, which makes meals for schools and the elderly, just offered longtime employees, nearly all of them people of color, a chance to be co-owners of the business. We all know there's a big wealth gap around assets and what folks have, uh, especially in the community of color. So this is a chance for you know folks to get a, a little something. That little something called capital is a huge barrier to blacks and Latinos becoming entrepreneurs, compared to whites who have access to more equity, bigger savings, higher rates of home ownership, and relatives with assets, all ingredients for hatching a business. We've actually created folks here who have gone out and run their own businesses. It's been part of our culture. More folks will participate in making, you know, bringing us to the, to, the, <laughs> to the promised land, so to speak, or getting us there, right? Licinio Montrand has worked here since he graduated high school. He's in the process of buying 80 shares. When you get a chance to become part owner, why not jump in and take that? And becoming an owner has changed his view of the place. I look at waste and other things different now. I don't want to basically throw away my money, as so to speak. Montrand now has a stake in the profits, and maybe the ability to help move the needle on the promise of equity.